Hey guys, what's up? So if you've got a Galaxy S2 and it's already rooted and you want to unroot it, go back with stock firmware from Samsung, stay tuned. I'm going to provide you instructions and a guide on how to do it. Hey guys, we're back again here. So some requirements before we get on our way into unrooting the Galaxy S2 here. You have to have um, Oden installed. It's the software which will flash the Galaxy S2 and uh, you need to have Samsung keys installed so that it can be recognized. The Galaxy S2 will be able to be recognized. And lastly, you should have the firmware itself. So don't worry about uh, where you can find these or where on earth can you find them on the internet, but I'll be providing links in the description below. And I'll also, and also be providing it on the written guide on wiredmash.com. So the first so the step to do is to turn off your device. I'm using the Cygenin Mod 10 uh, ROM here. It's a nightly build, which is, which is awesome, which is great. I'll teach you guys how to root the device in another video. So as you can see, it's uh, fully off now. So in order to get into download mode, you press the volume down the menu and the lock button for 10 seconds at least until this comes up and volume up to continue so so right now it's in download mode and I repeat guys this is only for the i9100 the international version of the Galaxy S2 this is not this this won't work on ANT or T-Mobile or or Verizon uh, Galaxy S2. This is only for the international version, the unlocked one. So you connect your mini USB cable behind. Make sure you've got Samsung keys installed so that, it, so that the Galaxy S2 will be able to be recognized. So right now we're going to unroot it with an official firmware from Samsung. So connect it. So it says your device is ready to use. So we go to Odin. No worry about the links guys, they're all posted below. So yes. And as you can see, it's uh, yellow. Meaning that that's a good sign, means it's connected. I'll zoom it in a bit more. So it's yellow, that's good. Yeah, thumbs up for that. So we all we have to do is we have to just leave everything. Don't take every don't take anything at all. All you have to do is to head over to PDA, click it, and then look for the firmware. So I put mine here. So you look for the firmware. Firmware is here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it. No worry about it. Uh, the firmware will be will be posted below. So I'm going to just extract this. So the firmware I'm using uh, ice cream sandwich of the Philippine version. In the kernel is for the Philippines, and uh, usually the the firmware comes in a .tar file. And another file perhaps but I'll be providing you with a link to the Polish or the pole pole the Rome the Galaxy S2 Rome for Poland and for Europe which is a little bit more better than this particular Rome nevertheless I'm going to demonstrate it so as you can see it's there so again let's go back here the main screen of Odin click PDA Browse for your firmware. It's over here. Select the file with .tar. Open. Once that's done, there's communication. That's a good sign. We've got the PDA here. We've got the file here. Click start. Wait for a couple of minutes and it will be done. So I'll be back with you. So as you can see, 
it says pass which means it's a good sign and right now it's booting it just finished uh, flashing the stock ROM for my Galaxy S2 region of for the Philippines Southeast Asia I'll be providing the link to the Polish ROM though it's more it's a little bit more updated as you can see the triangle yellow triangle has disappeared so this is a complete unroute so definitely you've lost all your data your SMS messages uh, and apps so this is a fresh brand new uh, roam here so most of the most of the time if you're coming from and you're flashing uh, official stock roam fair or firmware from Samsung you you would usually get stuck at the boot up sequence screen that's if you're coming from a custom roam like Sygen mod 10 so the on, the only way to fix this is to remove the battery put it back in again this time you have to go into recovery mode so you have to press volume up let's get rid of that sorry about that guys so you have to go click volume up menu and the power button should flash twice awesome so we're we'll going to Samsung's recovery mode similar to clock, clockwork mode uh, we have to wipe data factory reset yes I want to delete all my data then we're gonna wipe cache partition I can reboot now so with that, um, this should autom this, this should boot well now. It shouldn't get stuck at the Samsung boot up sequence screen. Uh, the reason why it does that is because we're coming from a custom ROM and we're transferring back to the official stock ROM firmware. So there might be some problems with different platforms. Other than that, just give it a few, give it a minute or two, and you're on your way back to a unrooted official stock Samsung firmware. Thanks guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any problems or questions, feel free to post them below in the comment section. And most of all, visit wiredmash.com. Thanks again guys.